Hi, everyone. I hope you're well and you had a good Wednesday. I had a good Wednesday. I got myself up and out the door fairly early and I traveled up to the Poconos. I'm working on a, on a construction job there, advising on some finishes and some selections for just a, an amazing client who I, I adore. And every time I'm in Lisa's company, I just, I smile. She is, she's something special. Um, but while I was in the car and I was driving, you know, that, that journey from here is probably about an hour and 40 minutes or so. I was thinking about how, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to have a career that has been one that has really brought me tremendous joy. And I can remember as a child and really all through my adult life, my father would often say like one of his greatest lessons was, you know, pick something that you love to do and, and you never will feel like you work. And I, I am really fortunate to have had that opportunity to have a career that has just been so much fun in so many ways and has brought me really treasures, treasures and treasures upon treasures of experiences and friendships and connections and you know, uh, transformations, helping people take their homes or their spaces and, you know, create them into something better on their behalf. So thank you. Thank you, Pops, for the wisdom and thank you, God, for the talent that, that got me to here. But while I, was, while I was on my drive, I was, you know, pondering some things that had been going on in, in my life and, and in my circle and really made me think about um, wealth and how we wrap our arms around wealth and one of the things that sparred this on I was panning through social media and I don't know if it was either on Instagram page or on a Facebook page but I read a quote from that was posted on my friend Abby's wall and the quote simply stated some people are so poor all they have is money and I thought about what that meant or where she was coming from as that was put on her wall. And the more I thought about it, the clearer it became. And I thought to myself, well, how do we define wealth? What, what, makes you, what makes you rich and what makes you poor? What makes you wealthy and what makes you not wealthy? Like what, what, how do we, how as a, as a humanity do we register or gauge that? I think oftentimes we're conditioned that, you know, it's, it's by what you can acquire from that wealth. What is the tangible? Am I a success because I can, you know, take a lavish vacation? I can have the most expensive watch. I can fly on an airplane that's private. I can, you know, rent a retreat for two people. Does that make me wealthy? Does that make me rich? I don't know. I think those trappings at times can be wonderful markers of how you have achieved. But in the end, when you think about your life and you think about what pummels you or what challenges you or what causes you pain, where you get the greatest strength is not from the most expensive watch is not from the most lavish vacation, is not from the most beautiful diamond, is not from a private charter. It's from a person that stands by your side and holds your hand and makes you laugh or wipes your tears or holds your hair if you're puking. Whatever it is, wealth and riches come from people come from energy, come from family, come from this collective of spirits that we circle ourselves with. That is what makes someone wealthy. So this quote so poignantly states, some people are so poor, all they have is money, because truly that is their only, their only benchmark, their only their only way to say I have arrived is because I have all that I've acquired. 
In my lifetime and in my circle of friends, I'm probably the person that makes the least amount of money. But I am the person that feels the wealthiest. I am surrounded by angels, family, friends, acquaintances, clients, people who bolster me and make me feel like I'm the emperor with new clothes. So thank you, Abby, for that, that beautiful quote that made me spin through my head yet another reason why I'm thankful to be living the life I'm living. So everyone out there, however you get your joys, remember the greatest joy of all is having someone near your side, laughing with you, crying with you, celebrating with you, helping you process your sorrow or your journey or your mission or whatever the case might be. Because all the trappings that wealth can bring you, if you're all alone, you're poor.